Hello everybody, this is Lavanda Lucy and today I would like to continue our demonstration of C-Trans VDS3 transmitter and I will do a practical example of level measurement and also as I promised you in my previous video I will provide you with more details about mode 7 and how we can use mode 7 for zero adjustment mode 7 allows you to correct for pressure offset caused by an impulse line or remote seal capillary or the transmitter. In this tutorial today, we will have a water tower as an application example. So let's assume that we have 5 meters standpipe and the tank itself will be 4 meters high too. We need only to focus on 0 to 4 meters that's in the tank and we don't really care about the standpipe. Knowing that we will install c P at the bottom of the sandpipe at the ground. First thing what we should do is to determine the maximum working pressure. Since we are 9 meters above the ground, the maximum working pressure will be 9 meters of water pressure. In conversion this value to millimeter H2O, the result will be 9000 millimeter H2O. Now we convert this value to millibar in order to select the appropriate span of the transmitter. So the result will be around 828.5 millibar. So we go with option 1600 millibar. Now we can go to mode 5 and when the tank is empty, we know there will be 5 meters of water pressure acting on the transmitter. So we come into mode 5 and set up 5000 mm H2O as a start of scale. Then we move to mode 6. In mode 6, we know it will be 9 meters of water acting on the transmitter from the ground level. So we set mode 6 at 9000 mm H2O. However, the display of the transmitter will be 5000 mm H2O when the tank is empty and 9000 mm H2O when the tank is full. This will not really work and will be confusing for some people. So what we have to do in order to solve this problem? Mode 7, our solution for this problem. So in this tutorial today, we will have three scenarios using mode 7 to solve this problem. So let's see. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. First scenario, we measure the standpipe height accurately using a tape or any other accurate tool. And let's assume it's 5 meters. We know that 5 meters of water pressure is being caused by the standpipe itself. But we are only interested with the 0 to 4 meters in the water tank. We set up mode 5 at 0 and mode 6 at 4000 mm H2O, so we will not have the correct reading. In this case, we have to suppress 5000 mm H2O, and this can be done by using up and down buttons in mode 7. Now, the transmitter can only read and display the actual level of the tank. Second scenario, the tank is empty and the stand pipeline is filled with water so we come to mode 5 and set at 0 mm H2O and mode 6 at 4000 mm H2O that's what we want 4 to 20 mA to be represent in mode 7 and because of the 5000 mm H2O of the sandpipe mode 7 will read 5000 mm H2O so we suppress this value by holding both up and down buttons together for 2 seconds. Now, electrically, we will suppress the 5000 mm H2O. In this case, the display when it's reading pressure will be 0 of mm H2O when the tank is empty and 4000 mm H2O when the tank is full of water. Last scenario. We know that we have 1000 mm H2O of water pressure at the moment inside the tank by using a deep stick or other tools. So we set mode 5 to 0 mm H2O 
and mode 6 to 4000 mm H2O. Then we come into mode 7 and mode 7 is reading 6000 mm H2O. Well, we know there is 1000 mm H2O in the tank as we just measured it. So we force display in mode 7 to read 6000 mm H2O using up and down buttons. Now we have suppressed the 5000 mm H2O that we know is in the standby. And what we have left is 1000 mm H2O we have in the tank itself. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.